Hello again, this is Fred Burke with TotalFinancialLiberty.com. Uh, I would like to uh, talk to you about real estate options this evening. Um, let's get right into it. A real estate option agreement is a unilateral agreement. Uh, you are paying the seller for the right to purchase the property. You do not have to buy the property when you have an option on it, but the seller has to sell you the property should you find a buyer. Simply put, the seller is giving you the exclusive right to purchase the said property for a fixed price within a certain time frame. A real estate contract, now on the other hand, is a bilateral agreement where the seller agrees to sell and you, the buyer, agrees to buy. Normally, a buyer will have to put up earnest money of around $1,000. Uh, if you do not buy as agreed, you're going to lose your earnest money. You're going to lose your $1,000. Uh, options are not just for real estate. Uh, you can use options to buy all kinds of things. Uh, let's say you find a guy who's selling a great airplane. You can go ahead and put an option on that airplane, and basically you can sell the option uh, to someone else that's looking for a plane. So options can be used for a lot of things. Uh, the contracts that we will provide you with and teach you to use will be unilateral agreements. I put uh, options on contracts, uh, contract options on properties all the time. They're unilateral agreements. I have nothing to lose. So the whole point is to go out and negotiate the lowest possible price possible that I can get on the deal. So in other words, if somebody's asking $110,000 for a house and uh, the house needs $10,000 in work and the, um, uh, the house then to me is worth about $100,000, um, I would go ahead and try to option it out for about sixty-five to $70,000 following my maximum allowable offer, which again will teach you um, as we go along through the training with uh, TotalFinancialLiberty.com. So I would put an option on the property and then I would take my contract and I would start contacting my buyers list and I would uh, try to flip that house off to my buyers or assign that house or my contract, my right to purchase the property to another um, investor, rehabber or a landlord uh, for a quick five or ten thousand dollars depending on how much money is in the deal. I try to teach all my students to never be greedy. Um, if you can make a quick five thousand dollars for two or three hours worth of work, uh, go ahead and take it. If you're asking ten thousand dollars and your investors are going to go ahead and walk away uh, because they feel it's too high, of course try to get down to eight or seven, but if you have to end up with five, there's nothing wrong with five thousand dollars for two hours of work or three hours of work. And when I say work, I'm talking about negotiating with a seller, finding the property, negotiating with the seller, putting it under contract, and then advertising it. That's not really work to me. Um, that's not going out and digging ditches or uh, you know humping freight or driving a truck or uh, uh, any other kind of job that you can have that's a J-O-B. Uh, this is something that we work uh, as we want to on our own. So. Basically, uh, option contracts are great. The only liability that you have to with these option contracts is you stand to lose the $10 that you put with the option contract. So if you put an option on a, con on a house, uh, you're giving the seller $10 for the right to option that property for a predetermined amount of time. Now, I normally try to get 90 days. Most sellers will tell me, no, I don't want to take my property off the market for 90 days. Um, so they'll say 30 days. I'll say, well, normally it takes a minimum of at least 30 days to close on a house, at least. There's got to be surveys, appraisals, um, you know, mortgage approvals. There's got to be, there's so much involved with the closing. Um, uh, the title company has to do their work. There's so much involved that 30 days is not enough. So I'll come back with 60, and we usually end up with about 45 days. So if I know I have a good deal and I put it under contract, I know I'm probably going to move it in the first week or two, but just in case... I want to give myself some breathing room and some breathing time uh, to go ahead and to sell that property or assign that contract. So again, uh, you know, an option agreement is a unilateral agreement. You do not have to perform, but the seller has to perform. So if you decide to buy within that 45 or 60 days that you negotiated, the seller has to sell to you at that price. But if you decide you can't sell the house, you made a mistake, you pulled the wrong comps, you found more damage that was wrong with the house, uh, you have a choice of going back and renegotiating or walking away from the deal, and the only thing that you stand to lose is the $10 that you put with the contract. And to be honest with you, most of the clients I deal with, most of the sellers I deal with, they're so motivated to sell 
that they don't even ask for the $10. I have to remind them and give them the check or give them a $10 bill. They don't even ask for it. So basically that sums up what an option is and how to use a contract. And of course, when you want you to become a member of uh, TotalFinancialLiberty.com, uh, we will teach you and get further into that. And we'll be having teleseminars on it and we'll be having video training on it. And you'll see us optioning properties and wholesaling properties. Uh, there's so much on there already, so much content, so much video, so much um, audio. Um, the teleseminars that are coming up, as a matter of fact, we have a teleseminar coming up on September 16th from 8 p.m. Central Standard Time to 9.30 Central Standard Time. No fluff, all meat and potatoes. Um, and it's involving negotiating with sellers. That's what it's about, negotiating with sellers. How to learn to negotiate like a pro. This is what is going to take you from the investor that goes out and makes an offer and they say, well, I'll think about it, to them saying, where do I sign? This is very, very important. You should not miss this call. You need to go to www.totalfinancialliberty.com backslash total.htm and get signed up today for your 30-day free trial. And do not miss this teleseminar. Uh, you will hate yourself if you did. Again, this will explode your real estate investing career. On this site, we're going to teach you uh, all the little known secrets to uh, getting rich in real estate. We're going to... These are the insider secrets that you can easily apply to explode your real estate investing career. There's so much on there that I'm just not going to have enough time to put onto this video since I'm only allowed to do videos in 10 minute increments at this time so we can upload them to certain places right now uh, like YouTube and things like that to keep them. But our training videos will be hours and hours long and uh, we'll also be um, um, videotaping and uh, doing DVDs of our boot camps that are coming up, which if I'm not mistaken, go to the website. We have a boot camp coming up in September. That's also on negotiating, which I'm sure we'll be talking about that on the teleseminar. And the following day will be a boot camp on wholesaling. So you don't want to miss that. You want to get in for the early sign up so you can save a lot of money by signing up early. Again, this is Fred Burke with TotalFinancialLiberty.com. Uh, Total Financial Liberty can be yours. If you have any emails, just send them to me at fred at totalfinancialliberty.com. It's time to get off the sidelines and into the game. Go out and buy some houses. Until next time, Fred Burke with Total Financial Liberty. Go buy some houses.